Hello everyone, it's the Christmas main event. So Joan Noel, Feliz Navidad, Buon Natale, Fron Weihnachten and Nadolly Clawell. There's one more, Happy Christmas. If that's not your thing, may the force be with you. And if it's after Christmas, I don't know, Happy Easter or something. So, Christmas main event, where are we? La Conca. Oh yeah, that's a belter. Pretty much one of most people's favorite circuits. Right then, the tutorial. Uh, what I'm gonna do is my usual commentary over the action. I'm gonna have the uh, Google flyby like I did at Salbury recently. Uh, and I'm also gonna do a split screen comparison between the PRJ carts and the X30 carts. In each one, I'm gonna use a uh, base spec model as if you just graduated into the tier and also a pretty tricked out version as well for both classes. Uh, what I'm using is the uh, Zanardi L1B which is one of the carts you get offered when you first graduate into PRJ. And I'm also using the brand new CRG 2022 spec uh, balanced yellow cart, uh, which was unlocked in one of the events uh, yesterday. And for X30, I'm using the uh, used Monaco L1. Again, one of the carts you get offered when you first graduate into X30. And uh, I'm using the brand new CRG B spec, uh, the blue one that we all got offered a couple of days ago as well. Uh, I'm not using anything that you can't possibly get at the moment. It's all uh, unlockable to everyone, so there's no hidden gubbins going on here at all. Uh, for the uh, PRJ, I'll read this off the screen, otherwise I will get it wrong. I'm using, uh, for the CRG, I'm using the IAME Perilla used engine. I'm using the SK Works radiator, Firebird level four exhaust, 100 octane fuel, and LeConte softs. For the Zanardi, I am using completely stock bits and bobs. I've not upgraded anything, and I'm using 90 octane fuel, and I'm using the um, standard stock soft tires. Um, so it's as if you just graduated into the tier and you just use what you were given. And in the X30 class, in the CRJ, I'm using CRG, sorry, I'm using the uh, Remo engine, the AF radiator, Firebird level four exhaust, 98 octane fuel, and super soft tires. For the Monaco, I am just using again totally base spec, using 90 octane fuel and medium tires. Uh, as far as the setup of the cart was concerned, the conditions were 10 degrees and it was consistent across all the runs. Uh, for the sticky soft tires, I'm using 10.2 and 10.15 for the rears. For the uh, medium tires, I'm using 14.2 and 14.15 for the rears. And um, for the seat setting, I'm using my bog standard settings I use pretty much all the time. So that is um, 0 plus, 0 0.018 for the seat uh, position and height is set to uh, 0.15. That's across the board, I use it all the time. So let's get on with the action. As we cross the line, we already want to be tight over to the left-hand side of the circuit. Little note here, I never look at the lap time as I cross the line here, otherwise you'll miss your turning points for the first corner. That first corner, you've got to turn in so early. The grip level as you turn right into that corner, it is so low, you have to turn so much earlier than you expect to. We're looking to get as close to this kerb as we possibly can. Too tight and you run the risk of clipping that wall and that's game over. But if you can just either skirt around the edge or just skip lightly over this kerb, it's a perfect line any wider and you're just going to slide out wide onto the grass if you do start to slide don't be afraid to lift off to correct that slide and use all the track width and the curb to get the widest line into the second corner and you don't need to turn in as tight as you do on the first one in fact it's very easy to run too tight and hit the wall on the inside and again run it right out to the left hand side here it is possible to go around those first two corners flat out but it is very, very difficult. If you're trying to go for the absolute best lap, like you would be doing in the Christmas event, yes, by all means, go flat out. But if you're just doing a standard run in a standard race meet, I'd give it a little bit of a lift off. Turn three comes at you very, very quickly, especially if you've gone flat out through the first two corners. Get the brakes on hard, try and keep a nice tight line, keep it under control, don't run out too wide. Although if you do, the curb should be able to bounce you back towards the right hand side, ready for the next left hander. For this next corner, the first of several left-handers, I tend to miss this first apex. That allows me to pick my line into the second part of this left-hander and gives me a better exit onto a fast section of the course. And you should be able to take the second corner flat out. Just try to minimize any wheel scrub so you've got full acceleration. And if you do feel yourself sliding, don't be afraid to lift off the throttle. 
stay out wide on the approach to this next corner and break early. It comes at you very, very quickly. It's easy to run wide here, but you've got two options. You can either skirt around the edge of this curb just here or go straight over the top of it. And if you do go over the top of it, just lift off. It keeps the cart under control. However, don't go too close to the wall or things can happen. I assure you, this isn't the optimum line. And anyway, this next corner is very similar to the last corner. Get out wide, turn in early, either skip over the curb or run it a little bit wider. If you do skip over the curb, just lift off to keep the cart under control, but it should give you a much better angle into the next corner. Because if you can come at this from the left hand side, it opens this corner up so much better. Try and get as close to this curb on the right hand side as you can, but don't hit it. It will push you out and compromise your exit on the next part of the corner. Try to control your throttle so your back wheels don't spin, which reduces your acceleration, but also watch your understeer as you leave the second part of the corner. And now we come up to the most critical part of the circuit, a high speed section which will make or break your lap. And although this first right hander is a bit of a nothing corner, if you don't get your line right as you come out of it, you're gonna mess up the chicane and you're not gonna have the speed going down the next couple of straights. We need to let the cart drift out to the left hand side of the circuit to open up the chicane and shed just a little bit of speed. Critically, you have to avoid these raised inner sections of this curb and the next curb. It'll make the cart bounce and ruin your line. I let the cart run all the way out to the right hand side of the circuit here. It's the line of least resistance. I find if I try to keep a tighter line, the cart's on a knife edge and it's all too easy to scrub a bit of speed. Keep it out wide, it keeps the speed up. There's not a lot to do through this next couple of corners. Just try and keep it tight and keep the cart under control. It gets a little bit lively. Into the last real couple of corners. Break early. It's very easy to run too deep here. Feather the throttle if you need to. Keep the cart balanced. Try not to let the cart understeer, but keep the back end from sliding. Ease the cart out to the left hand side of the circuit. Use all the red and white curb necessary to get a nice drive out of that corner. And from there, take the shortest line to the finish line, get over to the left hand side of the circuit and prepare for your next lap. Okay, that was an in-depth look at a lap of La Conca. I'll let this lap play through without me talking over it. Right, as promised, one last lap, this time split screen X30 versus PRJ. So that's La Conca. I hope the video is useful to you. The Christmas main event is now live. You've got a couple of days of practice to get your best times in. If you've got any questions down there, remember to like, comment and subscribe both the Streetcar and the Tough Monkeys uh, YouTube channels. It helps us out. Uh, but beyond that, happy Christmas to you and your families. I hope it's a safe one. See you next time.